Travis, how do you think the game went today? Yeah, we started well, um, which is something we haven't done in, in previous weeks, and the way that it finished off is ultimately really disappointing. Um, we did so much right, particularly the back end of that um, that third quarter, carry a bit of momentum into the into the last, and to get in front, um, and we just went away from what we did right um, to put us. Uh, I think it was about three goals up um, with about eight minutes to play. So um, yeah, disappointing the way that it finished, and um, one that uh, we'll learn from. And that strong start is different to previous weeks. Was there anything in particular you guys tried to improve from the get-go? Um, not overly. I think it was just a reinforcing of um, our trademark behaviours and, and particularly within the contest and, and pressuring them. Um, so to come out and score better um, was al is always great. Scoreboard pressure is um, is something that you can uh, you can really build momentum off. But we did need to adjust a few things at quarter time and half time, particularly ahead of the footy and um, to stifle a little bit of their um, their run and. and their rebounding so we probably kept them in the game longer um, than what we would have liked and ultimately they were able to push ahead. You've had a few games with Peel now, coming back from injury. How's the body feeling? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, the first couple, you're just sort of finding your feet. And um, for me, just to kind of feel how my knee's going and um, trying to reduce a little bit of expectation um, because a lot of the, the aims are to sort of get through and, and find a bit of fitness and a bit of form. And um, then the last two weeks has been a little bit more specific in terms of um, my outcomes and performance standards. And, and hopefully over the next sort of three, four weeks, going to be putting some decent form on the board to be pushing forward um, for some selection uh, so that's, that's sort of the aims and um, ultimately today was, was a little bit disappointing the way we finished off so um, but the team's doing, doing really well. Yeah, uh, Neil Erasmus finished with 27 disposals, disposals today. What value do you think he adds each week? Yeah, I think the work Raz does inside the contest, his ability to win um, win the tough ball and distribute out, um, but his actual work rate around the, around the ground, contest to contest um, running, allows him to get into the game more and it shines out at this level. So I think with Raz, if he's continually stacking up the performances, an opportunity is going to come um, and it's a matter of, I guess, when, not if for him. Um, and it's just continually buying into those actions and um, yeah, we're pretty strong midfield here yeah, uh, in the Frio side at the moment. So um, yeah, there's uh, some stiff competition, but I think um, what he's doing and those actions are going to hold him in good stead when he does get that opportunity. And Sebek Kuek added two goals to the scoreboard today. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, Seb's been uh, been fantastic. I think when you can really simplify what um, he needs to do each week, it allows him just to bring his natural flair and his ability um, to the game. Uh, he's obviously his his marking and, and his, his running and the way that he reads the ball allows him to, to get ahead. And then it sees just these subtle adjustments of um, uh, learning role and, and patterning and, um, that he's really improved on. Um, he's just got some some attributes that not many of us certainly have um, and so the form that he's been building and how he's been carrying it on for the last couple of weeks has been brilliant so um, we certainly uh, value what he's been doing. That's great thanks for standing in the rain for us today Travis. No dramas thank you.